And that's on what? Period. And welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be testing whether store-bought hair mask or homemade hair mask work better on curly hair. So let me give you guys a little backstory on why I'm doing this. So a few months ago, I went to Diva Curl and I was getting a haircut. And while I was sitting in the chair, the lady asked me what deep conditioners do I use? And I told her that I make homemade ones with bananas and mayo and eggs. And she was like, what? <laughs> like that just sits on top of your hair. You're not, it's not penetrating it. It's not moisturizing it. But before that, my mom had been doing those masks on me for years and they had been working. So I stopped using them completely because, you know, a professional told me that I shouldn't be using them. But after a while, I started using them again and my hair flourished. I didn't see anything wrong with them. So today I'm going to be seeing whether she was right or not. If store-bought masks or homemade masks are better. So stay tuned for the results. First, I'm going to start off with the Aussie 3 Minute Moist Conditioner. Um, it is meant to hydrate your hair, leave your hair smelling good, and make your hair shiny. I'm going to go in with the Novex. It is meant to moisturize and make your hair silky. Now, the Katie Life Deep Conditioner is meant to repair, restore, and moisturize. Argan oil is really good for your hair. It's one of my favorite oils. It moisturizes, conditions, improves your scalp health, and is anti-inflammatory, and is great for hair loss. Olive oil is great for thick hair, which I have, restores split ends, and helps control dandruff. All right, so now I'm back from the shower. Um, I know I look crazy, but <laughs> I dampened my hair. I, it's not dripping wet. I don't like to work on dripping wet hair when I apply these products. Um, I'm going to be doing the store-bought one on my left side. So I'm gonna start off with that. Um, and this mask is actually really good. It's not bad. Both of these masks are actually really good for your hair. So now I'm gonna go through and I always like to split the half of my hair that I just use into another half just to really get in there. Alright, so I'm just gonna put this in my hand. Now, like with any conditioner, you want to make sure you get it on your ends. The most important part is your end. The most important part is your end. The most important part is your end. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. So, the most important part is your end. Your roots, of course, a must. A must, a must. But your ends are the driest part of your hair. So, yeah, I like to go in and apply that especially to my ends. And when I apply my conditioner, I like to go in and, like, distribute it right through the middle as well because... If you just put it like this, it's only like this, you're going to be missing the inside of your hair. No bueno. No bueno. Come on. I thought I was going to forget the edges. <laughs> what? <laughs> Another important part, do not forget the bottom of your hair right here. That is also really important. You hear that? That's what you want to hear, period. Okay, now that's all done. This part of my hair is saturated. So I'm gonna split this part in half. And this is how I keep my hair from tangling up again. Um, you guys saw this in my last video where I did it in the shower, but 
I always twist my hair after I add any moisturizing products to it. Um, after I get out the shower or anything like that, just because I detangled and I don't want my hair to get tangled. Like I'm gonna just go through with the excess and I put that on my roots. Now I'm just gonna twist this up. I'm going to go in with ripe bananas, which can lead to stronger hair follicles, help promote healthy hair growth, help soften the hair, and prevent split ends as well as breakage. Eggs repairs damaged hair, conditions the hair, reduces hair loss, and is rich in vitamins that make your hair more resistant to damage. Honey is one of my favorites. It moisturizes dry hair and scalp, which reduces your dandruff, restores shine, reduces frizz, and softens hair. Mayonnaise helps reduce frizz, add shine, and moisturize the hair. Milk helps with frizz, shine, and can restore damaged hair follicles. Okay, now we're on to the messy part. Now with this section, you wanna do the same thing. one of the applicator bottles to put in your to put the product like directly on your scalp and just squeeze it on there then you do that but I don't have that so I'm gonna have to use my hands and this is gonna get very messy now the consistency of this isn't the most like it doesn't feel pleasant but it works so whatever whatever all right so the same method with this you want to get your ends your roots and in between the section of your hair
after this, I'm going to get a bag. I just get a plastic bag and I wrap it over my head. Um, you can either leave these two sections or you could just make one big section on the top of your hair and just pin that. Um, and I'm gonna leave these on overnight. So that's just what we're gonna do. And I'll be back tomorrow with my results. Now I'm back the next day with my hair washed and styled. If you guys wanna see my curly hair routine, then click on the i card above this video to watch my previous video on how I do all of that. I use the same products, the same technique on both sides, and I washed it the same, dried it the same, so that it would be fair. So in conclusion, I just think that you should try what works better for your hair. Do not believe everything that professionals tell you because your hair is customized to you and only you know what your hair likes and what your hair needs. So just because someone tells you that something doesn't work for their hair or others doesn't mean it may not work for you. Comment down below which one you think did better. The store-bought or the homemade. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow my social medias. Link down below in my comment section.